So welcome back to part 2 of my tutorial on simple motion detection. So in the previous tutorial, what we have done is we have made use of opening, closing, and I have also introduced to you erosions as well as dilations. So let me recap what have happened in the pre previous tutorial. So in the previous tutorial, we make use of the closing and opening such that we will you are able to eliminate all the noises produces white objects that are actually moving. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create a bounding boxes around the objects that are moving. Let me show you again. So basically in this tutorial, we are create, going to create a bounding boxes around these white objects that are shown in the closing window. So let me change this. I think it's not really dilations. I will call it closing. We will call upon the function utility.findingContours closing, which is what we have. This uh, which is the video that we have gotten from the previous tutorial. And then we will add, add in 8080 and our frame. So the 8080 actually refers to the width and height, or basically the minimum width or the minimum contour width, contour height that we are actually looking at. So before we move on to that, let me continue first. And I will mention more about it later so looking at the function or the function that we have defined which is finding contours closing width height and frame we will use cv.2 cv2 dot find contour so basically uh, as seen in the video in this video we actually have a lot of white objects but then in actual fact we only need the contours or the outlines of the of the white objects in the closing window, we will use CV to dot find contours. We will get back our contours, and contours is actually a list. And if you want to take a look at the contours itself, we can draw the contours, and then we will have the contours draw on the frame. So, so if we put minus one, it means that we want the all the contours to be drawn, and this refers to the color. So this will be the green. And then this refers the thickness of the contours. So if we run CV2 dot draw contours and let should let's use CV2 dot arm show. And then let me comment out this. You see that actually contours are drawn around the cast or the moving objects in the frame. Here, here, here. And you begin to see that there are also uh, green contours drawn around the railing. And there are also many small contours that are drawn for example the one here and the one here however we do not want all the contours to be drawn we want to set a minimum contours so that there won't be many random boxes bounding boxes that are formed so we included the minimum contour width as well as the minimum contour height which is taken from here so in our case we set the minimum contour width and height to be 80 80 but uh, you should set it according to your needs. So for contour and contours, we will use cv dot bounding rect inside to be contours. So it will give us the output will be x, y, w, and h. And if the width and height actually fulfills the condition, we want it to be append to the rect, which is a which is an empty list as shown here. So we'll return our rect or the bounding boxes. This is actually not needed. So once we have used, we have created our bounding rectangles. It is time that we create the bounding box or rectangles or the green rectangles. So we use utility.create rect and then the first input to be rect and the second input to be frame. So let's take a look at the function inside the utility Python file. So we do define and create a rect and let the first input to be red and the second input to be frame. We will let the bounding box or the color of the bounding box to be green, which is 0, 255, 0. So for W for X, Y, W and H in red, we will let our top left to be X and to be this, our bottom right to be X plus W, Y plus H. So let's take a look at the documentation for CV dot rectangle. So basically cv.rectangle, what it does is it will draw a simple take or filled up right rectangles. And some of the inputs that is required is uh, Im image or the frame. For our case, 
that you want to draw your rectangles at. And then we have point 1, point 2, and then we have color, thickness, line type, and uh, shift. But uh, we are more focused on all these things here. So point 1 and point 2 refers to the opposite ends of a rectangle. And the point 1 would be on the top left hand side and the point 2 will be at the bottom right hand corner. And the rest should be quite straightforward. And then we will be using cv2.rectangle frame, top left, bottom right, color and thickness. And this will create the bounding boxes that we actually want. So if we uncomment this and then we run the entire script, you see that not this, sorry, this need to un we need to comment this. Uh, we need to comment this and this. So if you run this, you'll see bounding boxes form here and here at the exact locations that we actually want. If we do not include the minimum high end width, this is what we are going to get. Oh, let me. This is when we do not include our minimum width and height. As you can see, there, are, there will be many random bounding boxes that are formed and this is not what we actually want. So that's the reason why we set a minimum width, minimum height for our bounding boxes. And so this is what we get. And this is about the end of my tutorial. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions down in the comment section below. If not, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.